All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross video and today we are summoning for the brand new Red Demon Meliodas that just dropped on the global side of the game and this probably will be a pretty short video because as you can see we don't have a lot of diamonds here and obviously I could always buy more but I don't really want him that bad like it'd be great to get him for sure but from what I've been told, he's just okay. He's a good unit, but he's not like broken. He's not essential for, you know, ungeared PvP or geared PvP or even PEE content. Um, he's mainly there for the new demon that dropped, which is great. He's like the equivalent of Green King for the Grey Demon for this new demon. So I would still love him for that purpose. But uh, I want to save most of my diamond funds, most of the money I'll spend on this game. Um, for green Escanor when he drops and from what I've heard from everything that people have told me He's probably coming next like literally maybe next week the week after that something like that So I would recommend most of you to still save your diamonds just like I'm doing and um, Save them for green Escanor who's coming very soon. All right, so with all that said, let's pop over to the banner here And nope, that's the wrong tab. Let's go back uh, oh, unfortunately, we can't do our regular tradition on this channel, which is to grab a drink every time before we summon, because uh, I already got all of them, but that's okay. That's okay. Only four multis to do, so let's jump into the first one. Um, actually, a quick look at the banner here. As you can see, pretty standard banner. Uh, they did add the Red Helbrum, which is fantastic, because of course he's amazing, and I would love to pull dupes of him. But everybody else is like, oh, actually, I could I could use Gallon too. So Gallon or Helbrum from the unfeatured pool, or you know, non like main featured pool, would be pretty good. And of course, Demon Meliodas himself with a 0.5% rate, so pretty standard stuff. Um, still no sins, sadly. Still no other sins like the Green King or the uh, Small Dians, any of that stuff. Very disappointing. I still need those guys, but uh, it is what it is. First multi, let's go. Uh, and let's see what happens. Yo, my boy, Luck, I don't know if you guys know him, his uh, name is I Bring the Luck, and uh, he's been having the craziest luck in this game, man. Oh my god. Not off to a great start, not off to a great start, but uh, as I was saying, Luck, right? This dude has been having just the wildest luck in this game over the past three banners. Um, when it was the Galen and Gother banner, he got Galen and Gother, I think, within four multis. Or five multi, something like that. And then the banner after that with Helbrum. He got Helbrum first multi. And then last night on the Demon Meliodas banner, he got two Demon Melis in the first multi. Like, what are the chances of that happening? What are the chances of something like that happening to someone? Not very high, I can tell you that. I don't know the exact probability because I haven't done the calculations, but it's not very high. So shout out to Luck. Congratulations on all the luck. And uh, hopefully, you know, things stay the same for Escanor, because, uh, I don't know, man, with you being blessed in all these banners, it might not be so good for the, for the big one, whenever that drops, alright? Okay, so, <laughs> obviously not wishing ill on you. I hope it doesn't happen, I hope you, you don't get shafted for Escanor. But you've been getting really lucky, like, it's gotta turn around at some point, right? Anyways, second multi, let's go, first multi was absolute garbage. That's okay, though, I expected it. It was to be expected. Uh, ooh, okay, we got an SSR coming. If I pull Demon Melly, that's gonna be it. Like, if he's in this multi, I'm gonna save the rest for Escanor or... Um, I heard the Lilia banner is probably coming soon as well. And Lilia apparently is like a super, super OP PvP character. Okay, so here we go. We got all the animations. And we're gonna win this one as well. There we go. So every single sign points to SSR, of course. Multiple SSRs would be great. That's one. Okay, that's just a one, but you know, 0.5% chance. Demon Melee, and we're out. Anything else would kind of suck. I mean, it would be all dupes. It would all be dupes, except for Gallon. I didn't get Gallon yet. So, Gallon would be good. Um, it would allow me to run some you know, different kinds of teams. I've just been running Kingbrum these days, but the Gallon, Arthur, and King team is actually pretty damn strong too. I've lost to a few of those. And Gallon, you know what? I was sleeping on him, man. I thought Gallon was trash for a while. But then I realized that this dude just needs some buffs on him, right? So you use Arthur, you buff him. Or you use Gil Thunder, you buff him. 
and he hits really, really freaking hard, man. Like, people's gallons have been taking out my Hellbrums, my Gothers, like nothing. And like, turn one, too. Yo, it is uncanny how many Housers I, I keep pulling in this game. What the... What? 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 How? How? This is like the tenth Hauser I've pulled on this account. Why will Gother not Gother? Why will Hauser not leave me alone, man? I don't understand. Why does he insist on appearing in every single video? I have made four, I think four summoning videos for this game, and every single one of them has had at least one. Hauser pull, I think two of them. Oh, he's new, okay. I mean, I was gonna get him anyways with the Hawk Pass, but that's that's a dupe, I guess. Okay, so we got something new, we got something new. Um, as I was saying though, dude, every single summoning video I've made so far has had a Hauser, like an SSR Hauser, this Hauser specifically, and I think two of them actually had double Hauser pulls. It's crazy. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, at least we got this dude right here, so um, that's that's something, I guess. Let's keep going. We got two more multis to do. Hopefully, pull another SSR at least, so uh, I can get enough coins to get my girl Merlin. I think I'm currently at six coins. We're currently at six coins total, so we just need one more. We'll get the green Merlin. We'll walk away with a new SSR today. Oh man. Oh man, alright. Uh, blue text, not a good sign. Blue text, not a good sign. And if we were on JP, I could be like, yo, this could lead to an Escanor animation. We don't have Escanor. We don't have the Escanor animation on Global. So that is, wow, one, one SR. Is that the worst possible multi? Because... I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed SR per multi, right? So if you're getting one SR and all R's the rest of the way, then that must be the worst possible multi. It must be. I mean, there's no fake out from like R to SR or R to SSR, right? Well, at least there's a lot of potions. We're getting a lot of stamina potions. I always need those, so I'm not complaining too much, but... Yeah, that's trash. Damn. Okay, so two dead multis, one <laughs> SSR multi with a Hauser, and this is going to be our final multi of the video, guys. If you want to join me for a group summon, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, so basically, you just open up your game, go over to the summoning screen, and then we'll pull down together, and hopefully pull something good. Um, okay, okay. Sweet. Wonderful. Uh, oh crap, I forgot about that. <laughs> My bad, I forgot, I forgot about the group summon aspect because uh, I was so rattled by the animation. And... Yeah, damn. This is a rough video, man. This is a rough video, okay. Uh, should I just skip this one? I feel like I should just skip this one. It probably makes the most sense. Because what are we going to get? Like, I, th I think if you lose the clash, you're guaranteed to get nothing, right? Oh, and also if you get knocked away, if you if you if you like get like smacked by the golem and you roll, I think that's probably guaranteed no SSR as well. Okay, let's just skip this one, and there it is, trash, trash, garbage, multi, and. Uh, that is going to be the video, guys. I actually wish I didn't get the Hauser, so that I could at least have 80% of the bar filled. I don't see myself really going back, though, honestly. Like, I don't I don't really think that it's worth it. I don't really think it makes sense to go back in. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not a great banner, that's for sure. Uh, let's go over to the coin shop, actually. And what I'm going to do is, even though we only have six coins, even though we only have six coins, what I'm going to do is actually buy a platinum coin by purchasing another Hauser. So technically we have like, what? 
uh, to technically we got like two housers in this video if you think about it we summoned one and then we bought one the only reason i'm buying this one is because i want that coin for the green merlin um do i need any of these other coins here i don't think so i mean maybe this elizabeth hostess elizabeth um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna remove a few of these just in case and let's put it in like frieza is it frieza i call her frieza like from dragon ball and uh, let's put a couple of Dreyfus medals too. I think that should be fine. Uh, yep, we're good to go. Okay, so let's exchange these. Got another Hauser. So two Hausers obtained. Two Hausers obtained in this video. What, what a surprise. And now we have seven coins. Let's purchase our girl, um, Merlin. Obviously, the Hauser medals will go. I'm going to have to use all of them. It kind of hurts to use this Arthur medal, but I can just buy more of him in the future with the no gold coin so i'm not too hurt by it and uh we're gonna use all of these exchange and there we go at least we got a new green merlin and i think i have all the materials i need to actually get her to at least level 70 right now not 75 because i don't have the new demon materials but uh, at least we can now run that uh like true hellbrum team right or true kingbrum team with hellbrum king uh gother and then merlin in the back we use alt food so we can get three alt gauge every single time we start a battle, which is pretty freaking OP. You can, you can do like two alts on the first or second turn. So that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but aside from that, that is uh, today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, mostly shaft. Yeah, mostly shaft. It was, it, was, it was pretty rough, but hey. It is what it is, man. That's how these games go sometimes. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how your summons went if you summoned for Demon Meliodas. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.